Sartre, I'll be in prayer, please. So let's join me in prayer, please. Divine Spirit, we thank you so much for the opportunity that we have to spend some time this evening together as friends and with Spirit. We ask that you will give us an evening full of upliftment and spirituality and laughter, and that those who are in need at this time will be able to receive messages and join the two worlds together. We're grateful for this sanctuary, for the peace and the joy that we can feel here. And we ask that healing may be sent wherever it is needed at this time, and we leave this service in your hands, and I ask as always that I may be able to work in truth, in love, in honesty, and with the pure joy of spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Short reading comes from the way of some as white equal white equals saints. And it's the Lord giving and receiving. He says the divine law operates through both the act of giving and the act of receiving. The experience has taught you that by creating a condition of harmony and goodwill deep within your heart, you'll draw yourself love and harmony. By creating beauty within, you draw external beauty to you. In other words, as you give, you receive. What you put into life flows back in full measure. This is an inescapable door. It is impossible for any man or woman to tr give truly from the heart without receiving exactly what they have given, and a great deal more if the heart is attuned to the master of love. The working of this law is very clearly recognised when the soul withdraws from the physical body and awakens in the spirit world, for then it finds itself in the very conditions it has built for itself through its thoughts and actions while on the earth. It receives as it has given. There is no escape in the results of your actions, and as we sincerely serve our brothers, our brother, man, we serve ourselves. If we hurt any one of God's creatures, we ourselves suffer the same uh, again as we do, so we shall receive. So it's like saying, really, um, you can't take the mick out of God because um, there are laws in existence and uh, I believe that what I read is true. It doesn't mean to say we're perfect, but it's worth remembering. So um, that's all I'm going to read out, so I'm not going to uh, go on any further. I'm going to ask Carol if she'll, uh, I don't know, if you give us a talk or you can... You might dance around the room. <laughs> Put the 80s back on. Put the 80s back on, yeah. Alright. You need a partner. <laughs> no, we're all doing it. Alright, we're not going to do those I'm not really good at that, saying it. It was quite interesting at reading. It's a bit of a sobering thought, isn't it, really, when you think that what you put out there you're going to get back. Especially when I think when I'm driving along and somebody sort of cuts me up and my thoughts are not the purest of thoughts that go out to the person in the other car. And um, if a spider comes crawling across my floor, I'm not, you know, I do try to pick them up and put them out, but I do squish them sometimes. And, you know, I think that we don't think of things like that. When we read something like that from White Eagle and it says what you're giving out, you're going to get back. We're all human, none of us are all perfect, we don't all, I mean, I don't suppose any one of you here will put your hand up and say that you have wonderful, lovely thoughts about every single person you ever meet every single day of your life. <laughs> um, <coughs> but, as long as we're striving, I think that's the key. There are laws, there are sort of like um, karma, what goes around comes around, what you put out so you'll get back. But if we try and not deliberately go out, I think, to hurt other people or to be nasty or to do harm in any way, there obviously is this loving God there that we can pray to and ask for forgiveness. <coughs> I think the mistake is if we wake a mistake, that's great. It's when we keep doing it again and again and again. That's where the, the um, problems lie. But that, I quite enjoyed that. 
Um, I also like to bring a little postcard with me um, just to give a talk because it's not always that you can get round to everyone with a mediumship and I think it's important that everybody should be able to take something away from a service. So these are from a group of cards that are called Postcards from Spirit and I'd just like to read this one to you. It says, Dearest you, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. You will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multisensory, multidimensional beings. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agree to play. Today, trust your spidey sense. Read between the lines, tune into the stories behind the stories, and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we're right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. And I think that kind of ties in a little bit with that, that we are all spirit, so we've all got connection to spirit. I'm nothing extraordinary to any of you. I'm just a spirit trying to live my life the best way I can, the same as you all are. So if that's right, our sixth sense really is our first sense. Because if we've all come from spirit, we're all connected to spirit. We're all connected to each other, whether we like each other or not. Um, and I think it's important to just remember that. Primarily, we're all the same. We're all trying to learn the same things. We've all come from the same place and we're all going to the same place. Um, and I think a little kindness amongst ourselves just goes a long way. And I'd just like to leave that with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't have a lot to add to that unless you want me to read something else out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end up, we will end up dancing. All we can yeah, just keep leaving back to Paul. I think it would be good if you could um, tune in and do your mediumship. No pressure then. No pressure. No. no. <laughs> so you're not going to make us all sing again then? No. We only do one. That's bad. <laughs> We're not fancy well, here. We don't, don't do, we don't do fancy. fancy. She's got a gravel gut. She can't sing very well. <laughs> <laughs> and if one sings at a different pitch, well, it all starts off good, doesn't it? And then you yeah. sort of all lose it a bit in the middle, and then it all comes together again at the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't I've seen anyone here before because I've never been over this neck of the woods before, but it's really lovely to be here. It's a really nice energy, and that's what I like. Nice energy. Um, I do like Jessie's. If I come to you, I hope everybody's okay for me to come to them today. If you're not, do say so. Um, is there anyone that's not seen a medium work before? Yeah. Oh, you've completely. Did they just drag you in off the street? No, I work there. Well, it's nothing scary, okay? Nobody has to dance around the room, honestly. <laughs> we don't make you sing a solo or anything like that. <laughs> The aim is to prove that this is not just it, okay? When we pass over, we continue on. Life is eternal, all right? And my aim is to try to prove to the people here that their loved ones, their friends, their relatives, anybody that they've met, perhaps, in this world or have a connection to, still is around. That when people that we pass over, they're not just gone, they don't have a, in, any interest in this anymore. They're still around, okay? So if I come to you, yeses are fine, noes are fine too, okay? It just means I have to work a little bit harder and get in them to come forward. I do like to hear your voices. I can guarantee people over in spirit that come through tonight have not come to talk to me. They're not interested in me one little bit. They're here because they've come to talk to you, okay? So nice loud yeses, my tiny little weeny nose, and we'll see where we're going. Can I go to the lady there in the green top with the glasses on? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone looks dead, what colour are I wearing today? It's alright for work with you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, as I link with you, I've got uh, I've got a lady and a gentleman actually that come together. Okay. Um, 
very well dressed actually oh. this gentleman is he's in a very nice suit yeah um, and the lady that he's with, he holds her hand. I know that they're a couple, okay? If they're not mum and dad, then they're grandma and granddad, okay? Because that's the vibration. Would that make sense to you? Yes, yeah. Did, yeah. Um, the impression I get is that the lady probably passed a little while before the gentleman here. Right. Um, and he gives me the impression that he did quite a lot for her. Would that make sense to you? No. no. He's talking about holding her hand and having to walk her as if if it was her that was a bit more poorly than he was. I, I can accept that, but it, it's... Mm. She didn't go for him. Right, okay. Yeah. I'll reverse that and take it back, okay? Mm -hmm. The way that he actually shows me is that he's holding her hand and as if he's walking her along. She feels as if she's, she's iller than him, okay? So if she did not pass, the impression that she gives me is that she was the one that probably you would have expected to go because she feels as if she was a little bit more yeah. iller than him, okay? Um, <clears throat> but there's a great bond between the two of them, okay? Um, and it, it was just as if one couldn't go on very much without the other. Would that well, make sense? Did they really? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Look to a different couple then, because this, I've just, like I said to him again, did you not like me? No, they're, they're together, they're very much solid, okay? So I'm going to ask you to try to oh, yes. see if you can think on a different yeah. thing. Either, I'm not going to make that say they've made it out, no, because no, they no. each other, I just didn't get that no, feeling no, from no, them, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me get a bit more of this. Um, the gentleman is the one that's, that actually talks more. Than yeah. this lady, okay, um, and he liked words. Would that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if he's doing crosswords or if he would would write. Make sense to you, this gentleman? Um, he's just said to me, "You're not thinking of the right couple." Take the. Take the relationship that I said yeah, away, yeah. okay? Let me just... <laughs> They're not that tall, to be honest, these, yeah, this couple, yeah. all right? Um, he was always smart, he yeah. says, he was always smart. He's actually stating that he must have had something to do with the military way back. Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Okay, yeah, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> um, because he's sort of like, stand up straight. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay? Yeah. Um, but he's clever. He's yeah. a very clever man, but not boastful. No. Make, does it make sense? Yeah. Is it the same people that you thought or different people? Um, they're all related. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> he's showing me rabbits in a hutch. Right. Okay. But I think that that's a memory yeah. of somebody that would have had, if it's you probably, or somebody that would have had rabbits <coughs> in a hutch. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and as one went, another one was replaced. Would that make sense? That's correct. Okay. Uh, he's going, he couldn't stand rabbits. <laughs> okay. He couldn't, couldn't stand them. But whoever it was that had these rabbits, it's almost like as soon as they were gone, they were, they were yeah. replaced again and again. Um, and he's looking around and he's laughing and he's going, and look at them all now, it's because it's like they're all jumping around all over the place, okay? <clears throat> but the reason that this man is, is he's talking more than the lady, she's really not saying very much, she's no. just standing there. But the reason he's come through this evening is he wanted to say to you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're doing too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, it's the first words out of his mouth, you're doing too much. But it's not in as much as it's wearing you out or anything like that. It's more because you're doing too much for somebody. Right. Would that make sense to you? Yeah. And the more you do, the more you are being asked to do. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And he says it's not fair. Mm -hmm. Because you've had a life where you've done quite a lot for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it's now time for you to start recouping. He's taking me back to that reading. Yeah. What you give, so you get back. It's now time for you to start getting back, okay? 
Now he's talking about a younger male here on the other plane, and I want to go to sort of like exam situations or yeah. uh, learning with this young yeah. gentleman. Um, and he says there's going to be a big surprise around him. It's oh. almost like he's turned cool. everything around. Would that make sense to you? Yeah, and he says there's been a lot of concern around this young man yeah. not going right. in the right direction. Yeah. And he says, enough. It's He's going to turn the whole thing around. And he says, in a few years' time, you'll look back and wonder what on earth we were all worried about. Okay. Um, he is quite a stern gentleman, this man, in as much as he likes the rules. Okay. And he says he's trying to impose that energy on this young man here. Disciplined. Okay. He says that's what's needed. But then he says, the way the world is today, you can't enforce that. So he says, I'm doing my bit from here. Um, he wants to give you roast beef and Yorkshire puddings. Yeah. Okay, so that there must, is a relevance to that yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and also daffodils in a in a vase, but the, the vase he's showing me is almost like a greeny blue vase. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he says, look forward to June. I'm, I'm like, that's another year, you know. yeah. But he's just said, look forward to June, okay? Um, I questioned him, is it a name or is it the month? And he's saying, no, it's, it's the month, all right? Um, and with that, it gives me the feeling of a birthday or a special, a special event or something coming up around that. He's not really got anything else to say, but this lady is literally, she's just raised her head up and she's got the most beautiful smile. Um, and she didn't really say a lot, I think, when she was here, because she's not, that's the energy that she's trying yeah. to give me. Um, but she says she knew everything. Yeah. Okay, she says, I didn't, I couldn't really um, either speak or portray what I wanted to get out from here, especially towards the end of her life. Would that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. But she says, I heard everything, I was aware of everything. Mm -hmm. And she says, I'm absolutely fine now. She says, and I have found my voice a bit. I talk a lot. Okay. I'm going to leave their love with you thank and say you thank much. you. Yeah, thank you. Can I go to the gentleman there? Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. Right for work with you? Yeah. Yep. <coughs> I've got a very tall gentleman that comes forward here. I'm gonna he's probably about six foot two. Okay. Um, he's sitting slightly at the front here. Um, but as I look at him, his hair's quite it's almost quite long at the back. It's not like a short back and sides, it almost feels okay. as if it's a little bit longer than than you would have would have had. Would, does the gentleman ring any bells with you? Yeah. I, I, I As I look at him, he's got a cardio on. Okay. okay. And he doesn't look scruffy, but he's not a suit man. He's the sort of man that would have put probably had a shirt on, but he would have put yeah. a cardio over the okay. top of it. Yeah. Make any sense? Yeah, yeah. I, think I, know who <clears throat> I can't pick up on a family link with this gentleman, so I don't know if he's an in-law or if he's on another side of the family. I'm not getting that real. Um, closely with this man, but I want to be more countryside, more rural with him. Okay. It's, in the <laughs> <laughs> it's just as old for me to try and work out of there. After yeah. um, <coughs> he keeps he's showing me fields as if there's lots of fields. Now, if it is a um, somewhere where he lived, there would have been fields around him when he was here. Whether yeah. it's still like that now, I'm not sure. Yeah. But there's some, he's talking about crops as well. There would have been... <coughs> Do you know what I think he's showing me? Actually, I think I want to go over to Kent. I don't know if you've got anyone... I feel like I'm going Kent way with this gentleman. No, he's no, no, gone no. now. Apart mm. from hot. Well, it's hops that I wanted, you know I mean? right? It's hops I wanted, funny enough. But he's, showing, he's talking about somebody, I'm asking him for some evidence to try and link to you. He's talking about horses. 
somebody would have either um, loved to go riding that's, that was here or would have had kept horses or lived or worked near horses? Uh, I'm struggling with that bit. Okay. I think there might be something linked to my sister's married family. I don't feel I want your family. I want, I mean, yeah. I want removed a bit if that yeah. makes sense, okay? Yeah. I'll give you one more go. Okay. <laughs> He's talking about somebody here now, and I'm not sure if it's you, that likes, it's like builder's tea, he calls it. It's got to be strong tea. Mm -hmm. Here. Well, there are people no. I know that like it's a re No, it's, this would be relevant. It, it's where people would joke about this tea, it's so strong, or it, they call it builder's tea, but it's, re it's relevant to this gentleman. And if, he's, if I'm with no. you, if it doesn't, please, I don't yeah, mind. No, I'm, I'm struggling. Okay. But, yeah. Does it make sense to anyone else along here? No? <laughs> <laughs> That's shut it, shut, shut it down, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to let him step back, okay? Yeah, because if it's, not, if it's not right, it doesn't feel right, I'm going to let him step back. I'll say thank you anyway. No, thank you. I can't leave you. Sorry. There's a lady that's comes forward now. Yeah. Quite a short lady in comparison to this gentleman. I've yeah. asked him to step back, okay? okay. Um, but she's she's a, a bustler. This lady's yeah. a bustler, okay? Yeah. Always running around yeah, here, yeah. there and everywhere, yeah, okay? Yeah. Uh, house proud to the yes. point of if, especially if somebody's coming round, she says, you've got to make sure that the dusting's done. You yes. don't open that front door, she yes. says, until you've <coughs> done this. Makes sense? Yeah, yes, okay. Yes. Um, oh, she's a totally different kettle of fish. She's a lovely, bubbly lady. Yeah, yeah, um, wouldn't find her sitting down very much, no. okay? There's a lovely link there with you. Yeah. It's either mum or, or nan or, or somebody that was very close yes, with I you, know. okay? Um, did like to talk. I mean, she's sort of like, I'm quite animated now with her energy. Um, but things properly, properly, that's her word. Everything is, is to be done properly, all right? Mm. She likes polished shoes, especially. <laughs> Don't go out if your shoes are, uh, are messy, okay? There's no excuse for that in her book. Um, and the, the affection that I feel with her towards you, okay, mm. it's almost like as a younger person, as a younger person, yes. it was just like it's almost like you were hers, you're yeah. a pride and joy. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, she's not so sure about all of this, okay. Oh, right. She says that she's all right with it now because I think she's been there for quite a while. Yeah. But it wasn't her thing when she was here, okay? No. Um, yes, religion, that's fine, but not necessarily sort of, <laughs> she laughs, she goes, not, not going to talk to deaf people, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's lining up cars, yeah. okay? Yeah. Like cars, all right? Yeah. So that's the yeah. memory link that she's yeah, using there with you. But very particular, they have to be sort of like yeah. lined up, yeah. okay? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she says some of them are still here. They are. They're yeah. Here. She says yeah, they're I've still here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> you got no secrets, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I do sense that. She does know some stuff, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she would share them with you. Uh -huh. But she's not a. Um, she's not a gossip. She's not the sort of lady that would go and tell all your business to everyone. No, no, she prides she herself in that, okay? Yeah. Um, she watches everybody though. Yeah. Family is, yeah, yeah, is yeah, her yeah. thing, okay? And everybody. Um, and she's saying that since she's passed, there's been some real lows, mm -hmm. but then there's been some real highs, okay? Yeah. But she's talking about a wedding in particular. There would have been a big wedding since she's passed within the family somewhere with somebody that she knew. Um. She's talking about what she calls is a big wedding, proper white dress, proper... Yeah, there, has, there has been one, someone that she would have known. Right. Um, yeah. not, 
nothing, she says, nothing minor. It was proper, what she calls a proper wedding, proper white dress, all the speeches, proper sit down, yeah. wedding breakfast yes. and everything. Yeah. Um, and she says, I was there. She says, she didn't think I was going to get out, you know, not go. She liked to be somewhere where she could get dressed up, she says. If there was an event or something going on, she would like to be part of it. Although she wasn't the most sociable of no, she uh, people. She was quite a private person. But she said she did like to be that. She, people watching, she calls it. Might yeah. not be involved, but she yeah. likes to, yeah, no, to see. Does it make sense with yeah. her? Okay. She just loves you. And she's just, just kind of like, like this. <laughs> to her, you are still like yeah. the little boy. Yeah. Okay. And she's just said, in many ways, you still are. Mm. Very much inside. Most men are, really. But <laughs> <laughs> she's talking about your essence, your being, very much held on to a lot. And she's talking about keeping um, friends yeah. for, for, with people that you've known for a long yeah. period of time. Yeah. Um, and she says, you think that's just normal? She said, but it's not. Oh, right. you've got, she's saying you've got good friends that you've kept yeah. Yeah. for a long period of time. Um, now she's talking about Somebody ch either changing jobs or needing to change jobs. I'm not sure she's okay. talking about you or somebody. No, but I, I'm fairly certain I know who that okay. definitely does apply to at the moment. That's good. And she's, but she's saying it's not as easy as just one, stepping from no. one to another. Yeah, okay. I think we know that, but I don't think we know that. <laughs> She knows that as well because yeah. she's just saying that. Um, <laughs> Somebody's got delusions of grandeur, she calls it. Okay. okay. Would that make sense to you? It's almost like thinking that, that either they're um, more qualified or they're better than... Okay. Yeah, I would say not necessarily thinking they're above themselves, but as big ideas. Yeah. And ambition, but probably There's needs, nothing wrong needs with that, the money to achieve it. Okay. <laughs> But it's difficult. She wants to go back to talking about the difficulty from going from one, it's almost like one thing to another, okay? Mm -hmm. And it, it's difficult. It's not just as easy as just sliding into it. So she says, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. She liked to say things like that, didn't she? Yeah, oh, yeah. she <laughs> okay. was quite down to earth. Yeah. The where there's a so will, there's a yeah. way. She says, um, you of all people she goes, should know by now, if you put it thoughts up, anything can happen, mm -hmm. okay? And she says you're very aware of spirit, yeah. all right? Um, and she says you have an ability as well to take yourself out of yeah. the situation and bring spirit into it. Does that make sense? Yeah. You? Okay. And she says, that's not that everybody does that as well, she says. So she says, you think well, everything's I, so normal, but it's... Well, no, I know that's not normal. <laughs> things are, things are normal. Um, yeah, that's to be a reason for Another one of it is, there's a reason for everything, and mm -hmm. everything has a reason. Mm -hmm. she's, she's very much like that. She wants you to, in her words, believe as much in yourself as you do in everything else mm -hmm. um, because she says there's little areas where you don't believe in yourself quite as much she said and then there's other areas she says when you're just like fully yourself okay mm -hmm. um, but she says she, there's a she shows me this as I look behind her she's sort of like going like this and there's quite a host <coughs> you've got quite a host of people over there okay um, mm. helping you from spirit, okay. all right? Yes, now, there's also something, I don't know if this is healing or if somebody has a problem with their hands. Uh, That's here. I don't know, yeah. I'd have to think about that a bit. There's something with hands. I'm not sure if she's talking about healing hands. I can't quite get it. It's actually, I'm kind of losing her link a little bit. Yeah. But she's talking about hands, okay? okay. Yes, There's yeah. an awful lot of love with this lady, yeah. all right? Um, she says, I haven't got anything to tell you. She said, because you do know. She says, you take it and you know what's what and what's mm -hmm. whatever. She said, but I wanted to pop it and give you some oh, little things. Nice. So you know that I'm still around, yeah, okay? Yeah, and there's a lot of love from her and I'll leave that yeah, with you. Much. Thank, Thank you. you.
don't know where that other fellow is, but... <laughs> no, I thought I knew to begin with. But, yeah. <laughs> if you go somewhere else and see another media and they give you this man, just take yeah. it, because there's obviously some sort of yeah, connection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I go to the lady there in the black t-shirt? Hello. Hi. Um, I've got a uh, lady here, but she's not very old actually. I'm going to look as I look at her. She probably looks in her forties. She's quite quite nice hair. Um, took quite pride in her appearance. Now she feels more on a friendship vibration, <coughs> or somewhere that you or you would have worked. Okay. Right. I would, no, you're not very close closest to friends and everything here, but there's a there's a real there is a link, okay? okay. Um, she makes me feel that she passed before her time, she says, okay? okay. Um, and I know that she's talking. Um, I'm not sure if, she, if it's to do with the breast cancer or um, a cancer that she's had that she had treatment for and was okay and then she passed later. Can't make that don't play this is lady. Okay. okay, she's taking me here, got better from something and then I passed. But what she's passed, she's saying what I passed from was not related to how I was ill in the first place. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, if it's not right, it's that do say. Okay. I know she had something wrong with her own. Obviously. Okay, but she just keeps taking me round here. <coughs> she's she must have, she must have struggled to catch her breathing towards the end, that's what she's talking about. So whatever else was wrong with her, it was like and she's making me feel as if she probably couldn't talk towards the end, so whether she was on a machine or, or had an oxygen mask or something gone towards the end of her life. No. Like this lady I've got here, I know that she had um, either an, an oxygen mask or something on her face towards the end of her life that she needed. It might have been for a pain, a pain inhalation. Not a long thing. Not not unless it was to try and assess it. I don't know if she really, I think she already dropped her hand. Okay. Don't try and make it feel no. now. We're gonna. Uh, is there a name? I don't very rarely do I get names, and I'm not saying this is her name, but there's a name, Joanna, being called out, or Joanne. It's not her, but there's the name Joanne. I'm asking them to give me something else that gives me a bit of, of a link anywhere over here. Does somebody work in a school environment? Either in the, either in the uh, school kitchen or in the reception areas or something like that. No. No. Not along the front. We all well, we all know the person I was thinking of. Right. I was thinking of, but not just not fitting. Oh, she keeps showing me a school environment. If it's not her, then somebody that you would have known or would she would have known worked in a school. Either in the kitchen or in the, as a receptionist or anything. Not her mum would have worked. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you wouldn't she know. worked with her. Okay. She knows somebody that's a PA to somebody. It's the last try. I'm saying to her, give me one more thing if you can't get it, okay? No? no. Alright, I'm really sorry. I'm going to let her go as well. But this is working out well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say something to me? Have you know, I'm a PA and I don't know that person that you've described to them. Right. But the person that I'm a PA to, her mum, her friend, I think, reported. Right. I don't know. I don't you know don't know anything so. about her. Is there a link somewhere along the lines to do with somebody working in? School. Michelle used to work in a school. Right. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted Sorry. to say that. So, of course, you can't 
I might just be off a bit, okay? Yeah, but I didn't want you to be going like that. No. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get something else that links up with you, and then we'll we'll work with this, okay? <coughs> I only know things about her, so if you do, you know, if she doesn't yeah. want to send a message, I can pass the message on. Her <laughs> mum is still here. Yes. Right. That's that's the person. Do you see her mum? I don't know her, but. You could probably pass that message right, on. Yeah. Okay. Can pass the message on. Right. I wanted Sharon to come tonight, so isn't that weird? Okay. <laughs> it's the it's this lady here. It's her mum that she needs to see. She had something here. She's talking about she not she's going back to that towards the end of her life. She either couldn't say what she wanted to say to her mum, or she was not able to speak because there was something across her face. Okay. That's where that's the important thing. She sort of like can't get over that, and that's the issue with the mum because there was unfinished okay, yeah, things. I'll okay. On, yeah. But she needs to say again. She wants to say, I know I wasn't on my own. Okay. okay. I know I wasn't on my own. I know you can get a message. She's adamant now. She says, I know you can get a message. Okay. She says everything is is orchestrated to do this. Um, she's apologising to you, <laughs> and I'm saying no, I'm apologising to you because it was me that was off. Um, but she knows you can get a message, and there's a particular thing going on at the moment, either with the her mother, where she's either worried or concerned about not finalising things or not getting a chance to say what she wanted. Okay? She says my mum thinks that. I didn't know that she loved me. Okay. okay. And she says I did. A hundred percent. Alright. Um, and she says, Thank you so much. But if you can do that, she says, I will feel better. She says, but most of all, she says, my mum will feel better. And she's talking she tulips. Could you give her a bunch of tulips? Give and you don't have to physically go and buy yeah, her, but, but there's a message, there's a message yeah. to do with that, okay? <coughs> She's so grateful. I mean, she's look at her, she's got tears in her eyes. She's almost like, oh, thank you so much. She's almost like she's so desperate to, to just know, let her know she's okay. She understood everything and she knew she was loved. <coughs> so I'm going to leave that with you and say thank you for. I will. And it's, out. it's her best friend who that I want to tell the message to. to right. It's got in contact. That, it, in contact. It was a friend, and I thought you were her yeah. friend. Okay. So yeah. No, All know. right. Thank you for accepting that. Uh, okay. Yeah. She, it's almost like relief. It's like oh, a feeling. No. It's palpable. The relief from this lady. Okay. So I'll leave that with thank, thank you. you. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Just a bit off track today. See, I'm not used to being a bishop stalker. <laughs> we work different in Essex. That's all same town. <laughs> okay. I need to come to this lady at the front here. Hello. Hello. Oh, I've got a lady, she looks like just like you as I look at her. Okay. I don't know, is it, have you got mum in spirit? Okay. Is there similarities? Yeah. You're going to say, I'm not going to admit to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at seeing likenesses with people. So, it happens every time. You find a photo. This lady that I've got here, she's not got glasses on her. But as I look at her, there's a, I can definitely yeah. see like there's a, a, a link here as well. Um, that five foot two, five foot three, she's not the tallest of ladies actually. Mm, a little bit taller. taller. She's about here. That five three, that five three. I'm, forget the eight, okay? Yeah, I'm just all I've killed one, and I know that five two. Very, um, this lady was very proper, it's almost like um, education, educated in a way. Not so much in schooling, but she would find out things. She wasn't a fool, this lady. Well, she wasn't a fool. Um, and she would not like kind people to think that she was anybody's fool. She didn't like people to think that they could get one over on her, this lady. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Um, doesn't. I'm not talking education, she's in schooling, but she definitely would not have liked people to think that she was a fool because she wasn't 
um, well learned, so to speak. Okay, and she's quite adamant about that. Um, she's she's very much the sort of person. It's about who you are to people rather than what you've got. Okay. Um, and she says that's a. She, it's almost like a fundamental, and that was very much drummed into you. Okay, it's a fundamental thing. It's not what people have got. It's what they are. Yeah. Um, and she says she's very proud that you actually instill that in others. She just looks at me. She goes, Carol, do you know she'll talk to anyone? <laughs> me? Yeah. True. That's true. Yes. <laughs> um, but she, just the way she just looks, she goes, you know, she'll talk to anyone. Yeah. Um, doesn't matter what age, what sex they are, what sort of like build they are, anything. You talk to absolutely everybody. Um, but she says that's where you use your spirituality, so to speak, to, to pass on. It doesn't have to be big showy things, it's just the little words and that's how you work, okay? Um, she's quite a fast talker. She, I feel like I'm sort of like, oh, I, can't, I can't, can't wait, I'm so excited to sort of like be able to sit and talk to you, I just want to get everything out. No, no, it wasn't normally, but, but, but that's probably just an exciting She's thing. She's very excited to sort of like have the opportunity to to speak with you, okay? Because it feels like, you know, I don't I don't get that very often. So whether she doesn't come through very often or you don't do this very often, because it's almost like, I don't normally get the chance to to come. Um, but you're very much spiritually aware, she yes. says. So she says, really, I could just pop in and talk to you yeah. anytime I want to. But then she says, you doubt that it's me and you're not making it up in your own head. <laughs> That's true sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she said just believe it she says yeah, honestly she said especially when i'm nagging at you she said you you, you chat within your head i mean we all do that okay? we're all like that but she's saying you do that and you chat to people in spirit and everything like that but then you think oh silly me i'm just making that up i don't trust myself i believe in spirit but i don't trust myself. right this is what she's saying yes. okay but you need to yeah. you I need know, to know, yeah. Um, she says, how much more proof do you need? I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying you can go so far with this because you've got a way with people. And she says you can talk to anybody and everybody. And she says you do your healing by words. And she says if you had a bit more confidence in yourself, it's starting. then you would be able to do that all over. Okay? Yeah. She's jollying you along. She's talking about three different either things that you've tried to learn or three different places that you've been to <coughs> try and gain knowledge. It's definitely three that she's talking about. Yeah, I can take that. Yeah? Um, <laughs> and then she goes, zip them up, put them in a file and then find something else. Okay? <laughs> because she's saying that some things are just not, not sitting. Mm -hmm. Alright? Right. And she says, that's fine. Don't Flogging a dead horse is what she keeps saying. Don't keep flogging a dead horse. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't sit right, put it in a zipper, put it to one side. She says, move on to something else. She said, and then you'll find what it is. And then all of this other stuff that you're learning will all suddenly pop in. Okay? Um, she's showing me the most lovely garden. It's so beautiful, but I don't feel that this is a physical garden that's here. It's either a meditation garden or somewhere that you or somebody goes to. It's a it's a beautiful garden, but I don't want to put it here. Is it it's like somebody's dream or it's not very big. It's almost like you know what you'd see like a backyard. It's it's not very big at all. It's almost like postage stamp. But through her eyes, as she looks at it, it's absolutely full of colour. You have to take that one, okay? And just just yeah. Put it on the shelf, yeah. put it in one of your little zippers and just pop it to one side, yeah. okay? Um, but there's there's names of people associated with flowers, like Rose, like Daphne, like um, things like that. There's there's names. It's Does that make you okay? Because that's all she's talking about. There's lots of people with names that are associated with flowers. And she says she wants to bring all of them back to to you as memories. So some of them should have been called cactus because they were a bit, bit prickly. 
She's got a nice sense of humour, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'd like to cross your mum, okay? Because I think if I got on the wrong side of her, she would probably let me know. Not in a nasty way, but I think I would be in no doubt that I'd either overstep the mark or, or something along them lines, yeah? Um, she's talking about family as being such a big, important thing, yeah. but it's not the same, she says, all right? There's such a big, important thing, even it's not as big as it used to be. In other words, there's not so many children are coming into the family now, or it's just that it's just nobody gets time to come together anymore, like okay? This. Because she's saying it's not like it used to be. I feel like I want to be a little bit more spread about. Nobody's all, all so close, okay? Now she's talking about somebody else that probably is quite a long distance from the hub of the family, yeah? yeah? yeah. Um, and she says, oh, <coughs> it's sad. It's the sadness that she feels <coughs> rich, okay? But it's almost, that's with you, yeah? Because they're such a distance yeah. away. Um, but she says it's, it's not far at all. She says, it's, it, you know, she talks about your devices you have these days, yeah. okay? Yeah, and she no, says yeah. it's like you can still see their faces and still talk to them. Mm -hmm. But she says she understands the, the feelings of the wrench, okay? And she says she's very aware of that with you. Mm -hmm. um, she says, I still see everything. I still know what's going on with everybody. Watch yourself, she says. You're going to fly. She says you're really there. Um, everything you've learned up to now, she said, is all coming together. And she said, within the next couple of years, she says, you'll be amazed to see where you are. Okay. And she says, um, enjoy the trip. <laughs> so you must be going somewhere. I've just been somewhere. Um, enjoy the trip. Connected to family. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave her love with you. Okay. And have a bit more confidence in, in I'm you. So, it, it, it's okay. literally starting. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, lovely lady, I like you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, love. Your bottle's run out. Just want to look at restriction around my neck here. I don't know where I am. We've seen faces all staring back here. <laughs> under 30, okay? Um, and I know that this gentleman has, has had some issues around his thoughts. And, I, and he's holding, when I see somebody standing there doing that, they're taking responsibility for their passing. Yeah. I don't feel a family connection with you. I don't know anybody. You don't know anybody. No. Does that make sense to anyone here? Yeah, I know I was wondering if it would be my mysterious one, but it's you know, it's like they're under thirty, obviously. Under thirty and they've taken their own life. This man's no. adamant that he's he's no, taken his both, own no, life. No, 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 don't don't tell me anymore. He's this man is adamant he's taking his own life. You're not gonna stick your hand up again, are you? No, but um Kevin's not relative. It's not a relative. Not a relative? It is a bit shy. Okay. Don't be shy. You're right in the back. No one's going to look round. Don't be anybody look round. <laughs> you can nod or shake your head. You don't have to even say voice at all. I'm not with you. I know I'm going over there. Okay, sorry. Um, this, this man struggles with his thoughts. Would that make sense? Yeah? Um, and I know that I've taken my own life here, but I didn't really mean to do it, okay? I kind of, I did, I knew I was gonna do it, 
but in hindsight it's because of the place I was in. If I'd have been thinking straight, it's not something I would have thought of. Would that make sense? Okay. He knew, he said, I knew as soon as I saw this side of life, I'd made a terrible mistake. But he says, because, not for him, because I felt at peace straight away, but he says because of the turmoil that he left behind. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Is mum still here? Yes. Yeah. That's where the, the main um, regret is. Okay, does that make sense to you? Yeah. yeah? And he's talking about, um, I would, if I'd have even contemplated, I could, would cause that much pain I, um, and upheaval, I would have thought again. But he says, I wasn't in my right mind, but you need to, you need to know that I'm fine, that I'm well, that I haven't gone to hell, he goes. He's got quite a wicked sense of humour. He's got quite a dark sense of humour. He life. Okay. Um, it was just circumstances. He just didn't feel that he could cope with everything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, but he's funny. He's a, he's a bit of a lad, to be, to be fair, you know. Um, and he did like the ladies quite a lot. Yeah, more than one. He, he, he sort of like he's like yeah, you know, he's like picking himself up a bit now. Um, <laughs> he's a funny character. Okay, um, he loved himself to a certain extent. And if you saw him and met him, you'd think, oh, look at him. Who does he think he is? Because that's his the way he portrayed himself. Okay, um, he says I broke a lot of hearts, and he says, but mind you, he's going to me. Mind you, look. Because he thinks he's so good looking, okay? Of course I would. But that's his character. Does that make sense to you? Okay. He goes, I just need to let you know I'm all right. And he's talking about his funeral. There must have been an awful lot of people that turned up. Because he's saying that you couldn't, couldn't get them all in. There was more people than he, he imagined. Yeah? Um, he says, it's a pity I couldn't have such an impact on everybody while I was still here. <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely fine, okay? He's talking about you taking things to heart. Does that make sense with you? Not, not like he did, but things... Maybe. Sometimes people will say things and you don't take a lot of notice of it, but then you'll revisit it. Yeah? Would that make sense? Uh, yeah. Enjoy. I don't know if it's your car or his car, but he's talking about a car that wouldn't. He didn't, didn't have a car. You got a car. Is it your pride and joy? Is it almost like the the wanna be the next thing, the next one up is sort of like the car. I haven't got the car. You haven't got the <laughs> car. <laughs> well, Call me soon, you have. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in my thoughts. Maybe in your thoughts, yeah. But he's showing, it's, it's like a real pocket. I mean, I don't ask me cars. I know what a cash car is, I know what a fiesta is, that's about it. It's not one of them. It's a real sort of like meaty, is the word he'd used. Meaty car. Alright? If it's not here, it's a yeah. joke thing he's having with you. It's on that lines of motors. Right, okay. As long as it makes some sort of sense. Yeah. Um, he also liked to drink as well, this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he was very well liked, okay? And he says, I didn't realise how much um, influence and, and impact I would have on people. He, he just said, I've never done any of this before. He thinks this is all a bit weird, to be honest. <laughs> um, but he's saying that he's grateful that you are open minded. He said because it gives him a voice, okay? And he did like to have a voice. Um, can you just tell anyone, he said, I don't know if you, if you know his mum or if you can speak to his mum, but can you just let them all know I'm all right and I'm fine 
and I'm living the high life. Um, it's certainly not like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he is, that's what he did. He was a, he was a socialite, if you like, real sociable person, okay? And I think that's what was so unexpected with his passing, because it was kind of like, not you wouldn't, to look at him, you would have not thought he was the sort of person that would have suffered that badly with his own thoughts. Yeah? Yeah. Um, but he, won't let, he, he doesn't want to get anything morbid because he's too, he likes everything too uplifted, okay? Somebody um, at his funeral either read a poem or somebody either wrote something for him, okay? And he just says, um, I, I loved it. I loved it, okay? It was, it was like everybody was crying. Uh, it was either a poem or something that somebody had written. And he said, oh, I love that. He said, I can't believe. He said, it was, it was lovely. He says, the, he could feel the emotion from where he was. He said, I saw everything that went on and everybody was there. So he said, it's just to let you know, he says, we're all around, okay? And he says, thanks, mate, <laughs> um, for listening to me. Okay, he's not a gushy I'm going to give loads of love and everything, but just let his mum know if you can that I'm absolutely fine and I'm still all right. Okay, and I'm going to leave him with you. Okay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to ask the lady in the is it pink or red in the corner? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> I've got a couple that are coming here. You. Okay, I want to say mum and dad, all right? Yes. Um, because the reason I want to say that is because okay, that's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there's such a pride <coughs> towards you. <coughs> You'd have known that from them when they were here. Yeah. Okay, you were always, you always did them proud. Okay, and yeah. um, um, but they weren't ashamed to tell you that either. We're okay. proud of you of what you've done. Okay, lovely people, very nurturing and. Um, your mum says you, you were allowed to have your wings, yeah, yeah in growing up, yeah. um, because they trusted you, yeah, and I would have said that as well, we'll trust you, but you break that trust or something, and then things were, would change, does that make sense yes. to you? Yes. Yes. Uh, do they know you as well? Yes. Yeah. I'm just saying again, like, okay. <laughs> You're not the same, are you as well? Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? That's our spring number. Yeah, it's like, they go, it's funny enough, they're like, they're, no, no, that's it, that's it, just a spring yeah. number. Like, like, you know, love you all together. Yeah. Um, and there's very much similarities in personality. Okay. Yeah. The three of you. Um, <coughs> more you two than you. Now they're going to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it kind 
your face changed a little bit yeah. because it's almost like. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm saying, what's she done? You're your own worst enemy, you yes. just said. Okay? Because you keep nothing back. Open book. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Um, and at the moment, don't give everything away. Alright? They're not, te not telling me exactly what it is, okay. but they, they give you the impression you would know what that is. Yeah. Don't give everything away. Okay. Keep some things close to your chest, okay? <coughs> um, it's nice for people to be surprised. They're talking about people having a, a, their own ideas about you, um, how you'll react to things, or what you're going to do next, or something like that. And they're like, no, 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 no. keep it close to your chest, keep them all guessing. But that's their fun way, okay? But on a serious note, they're saying just be careful who you pass information on to at the moment, okay? Because you're so open, you're so honest. <laughs> um, and not everybody's the same around you. Yeah. Would that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And they don't want you to miss out on an opportunity because you've given an idea or something to somebody else. Okay. Would that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now they're jolly it all back up again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because they they love everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the lady in the middle as well. <laughs> I, I always say what they what they're showing me. I don't know if you remember these dolls, but I think they were called Sheena. And they used to push a belly or something, and the hair used to extend. Yeah. Yeah. Would that make sense to you? Why well, they're showing me that? <laughs> <laughs> and it used to have a purple, like, flares and. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, like, nylon y yeah. thing. Yeah. Can you remember that? <laughs> so, but it's you that they're looking at, and they're yeah. laughing at yeah. this, yeah. this doll thing. Okay. It's almost like you loved that. Yeah, or you hated it. One or the other. Because <laughs> you were like, you have to cut the water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like <laughs> but they're laughing about it. And they want to keep that to you as a memory, okay? Yeah. As well. It's fun. This couple, it's almost like they had toys and things in their house. Even yeah. when the children were all grown up, they would still have toys and things there for anyone that came round. They would have a box. It's a bit like my mum, a box of something underneath the stairs, you know, just that they could bring out. If people brought their children yeah. around. Um, but practical in, in every yeah. way. But such lovely, lovely people. Yeah. Um, now there's a fourth person that they're talking about. I've got three of you here, but I want another one. Martin, my daughter. A female, it's definitely female. I want yeah. another yeah. one. Well, my sister, but she passed away. No, they're here. Uh, definitely here. I want another female. Unless it's your sister. Well, you can work it out amongst yourself. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> um, but there's big changes around this female, this other female. Okay, either a milestone in life or um, so there's just changes around. Yeah, it's model time. Yeah. yeah? I'm not saying this is anything to do with your daughter or anything like that, but I've heard the name Claire being shouted out in yes. the background. Would that make sense as well? Um, and again, changes, big changes. There's big changes around a lot at the moment, mm -hmm. but in different areas. Would that make sense to all yeah. of you? Yeah. It's funny because they won't just pinpoint one, they have to talk to everybody. They don't yeah. like leaving people out. Oh, yeah. um, and they never would have done no. either. But it's about time. It's about time. They're needed um, change. Okay? Um, and they're saying it's about time. It's been long waited for, for the whole of you. Um, and now things are starting to, to move up. They've been working very hard over there to make sure things are done fairly. And that's the word they want to use, fairly. Okay? Um, and now, they, they're managing to get that sorted and things are now starting to move up, okay? Um, you've all got to have a stick of rock. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, you've all got to have a stick of rock, but some
somebody doesn't always finish it and it goes all yucky and sticks in the... <laughs> is that you in the middle? Is that you in the middle? <laughs> You're the awkward one, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but take their love, okay? Very, very much around, all right? And again, the name Claire, again, yeah. it's important to, to just be heard, okay? There's yeah. nothing specific, but just to be heard. Yeah. Um, and there's a birthday as well that's coming up quite soon. I've got a big bouquet of flowers to give to somebody. Oh, it was my birthday. Oh, okay. Was it, was it soon? It, or it was, was just big? Uh, Six fifteen. Right, yeah. Big bouquet of flowers yeah. then, okay? I'll leave their love with you. Enjoy your sticks of oak. <laughs> and a donkey ride as well. <laughs> We're up for time. It's ten past, so you can stop when you want to. But you can carry on if you want to. I don't mind. It's up to you. Anyone else want anything? We're flexible. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I come to the lady at the front here? Hello. Hello. Now I can't sense that person as such, but all I keep hearing is the word teacher. Teacher. Would that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to ask them to come close. I can't actually sense the person at the moment. I can't tell if it's male or female, but let me go. I can, I can, it's almost like I can sense what they're saying, but I've not got them coming that close at the moment, whether they don't like me, which is quite possible. Um, teacher, teacher, it's important. I don't know if it's you or somebody that's a teacher and they're just finishing school and it's like, whoa, let's throw everything off and just get... <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Okay, would that make sense to you? Possibly, yes. Um, I've got a gentleman actually, okay. He's quite thin and quite tall. Um, I'm not convinced, he might have been a teacher himself, okay, yeah. Um, of, of more than one thing though. He mm -hmm. wouldn't just teach one subject, he would teach more than one thing. And also he would have quite a lot of philosophy spiritually as well, this man. Make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's probably why he didn't come in, he's sort of like a bit happier to me. You know what I mean? I think he knows a lot more than I know. <laughs> um, very much missed, he says. Okay. Yeah, very very much. much missed. Um, and he says, a bit like that gentleman over there, didn't realise how much he would be missed. Um, he wasn't sure he was going to be able to get in today because his energy is not strong to come forcefully in, okay? Mm -hmm. He's a, a nice, forceful man, but he will take the back step and wait until it's time to step mm -hmm. forward, okay? I thank you, you nearly missed your opportunity. <laughs> um, but once, once he knows somebody and he, he takes you in, and, and that's very much with you, you're, you're part of him, okay? Um, and he misses you. I tell you. He misses the hugs. You used to hug a lot, okay? Um, he says, be free. Be free. You know I'm around. You sense me everywhere, okay? There you go. <laughs> you sense me everywhere. Um, he says, you hear me, you smell me, you feel me. And he says, in, especially in the evening, Okay, you would have sat together and either watched television or read. He used to like to read, yeah? Um, but he still sits with you very much now. Um, I can feel his emotion as well now. I'm going to, don't do that because otherwise I can't talk and cry at the same time. Um, he just needs you to know nothing has changed between you, okay? You are still to him and he is still to you and that will never change. And he says, when it's your time, and he says, that's not for a very long time, I will be the first person to be there for you. He says, and you know that. He says, but get on and live your life. He says, that's what it's for. I've not gone anywhere. He says, enjoy yourself, be happy, love, live. Okay, he says that was very much my my Impulse. motto. Impulse. Okay, Impulse. live, love, laugh. He mm -hmm. says dance. He says if you wanted to dance around this room, you do it. Okay, <laughs> but he says just know I am always there. I'm only a thought away, mm -hmm. and 
when it is your time, but he's, he's adamant, we're looking well years down the line, you'll be the first person, okay? All the love in the world, all right? Keep talking to him. You must have a picture of him as well that you talk to all the time. Um, <laughs> he says, he says, if you looked at that picture and my lips moved and I started talking back to you, he says you'd run a mile. <laughs> but, but he's very much, and actually he's taking, you know like the photos in Harry Potter, where they're all, you look at the picture and they're all dancing around, I don't know if you've seen the films and that, no. he's almost like saying, if I started doing that in the picture and waving at you and stuff, you'd actually like <laughs> run a mile. <laughs> but he says, I listen and I'm there with you all the time. Oh, okay? wonderful. Thank Take you. his love. Thank he's you. Lovely, lovely man. Thank I'll leave that with you. Thank you. That's it. Oh, you didn't get any. Well, that you will. That you will. I can't muster them up. I'm really sorry. But did, what, did, what you expected? It's different. It's different. It's different. Not too scary. No. No. Would you come again? Yeah. If I'm working. If I'm working. Yeah, but you don't have to come in. You can always sit aside. Couldn't you? Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Well, that was great. Thank you very much. And, um, you certainly are welcome again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> can we just finish with a closing prayer? Um, would you do it? Of course I will. Yeah, okay, can we just close the prayer yeah. before we go? Um, would you like to join me, please? Divine Spirit, thank you so much for the energy, for the laughter, for the love, for the tears and the joy that we shared this evening. Thank you so much for helping us to all come together as friends, to share this time and to know without any doubt that life is everlasting. We ask as we all leave here this evening that we may travel home safely to our friends, to our families, to our loved ones. And that we may be able to remember the love that we felt here this evening and to return again. And we ask that these doors may forever be kept open so that all those that are in need can come here. And we leave this evening and our gratitude in thy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.